Today we're unboxing Thunderstone Quest from AEG. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. All right, this this is a heavy one. Give me a second. <coughs> Got it. Okay. So, I uh, need my trusty knife. So Thunderstone Quest, yet another Kickstarter that I missed out on, but here it is. This was also lent to me by a friend from work, which I am very blessed to have all these generous people around me willing to give me their games. Well, lend me their games. Let's see what we got here. I love the artwork that AEG uses for their characters. Like the detail on everything in the box is just is really nice. Alright. Ah. Eh. Yeah. Right there. This this is a heavy box. Be warned. Alrighty. You could definitely crush a small animal with this thing. It's coming. Hear that? Man, this this is snug. Come on, get in. So this is a deck building game, and I love deck building games. It's probably my favorite genre. Ah, got it. Oh, it smells good. Put that right. Move this coffee. Ooh, look, we got like satin ropes or handles. All right. That's for layer number two. This is a very deep box. Um, so let's, let's crack into it and see what we got here. First, a rule book. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Well, it looks like we got a bunch of rules. <laughs> it's a nice rule book, actually. It's like a thick stock. Very clean. Yeah. Let's put you over there. And here we have a very heavy book. What is this? Thunderstone Quest. Oh, it's the Quest book. Great art on that. Hmm. Um, and we have more great art inside. I, I there must they put so much effort into all their character work and all their artwork in this game that it's it's really cool all right so i guess this is all you need to set up your quests so what i gather from this game it's a deck builder where you go on adventures with it, four people and i actually don't know how the game plays i know it's a deck builder i know there's a dungeon and i know there's a board here it is. Here we go. And this is a two-sided board. This is the bazaar, the marketplace, temple. So we got a few locations. And then on the other side we have... What the... Looks very similar. I'll go as far as say they look exactly the same. It's got to be something different. Well, I don't see anything different, but there's got to be something. I don't know what it is now, but I'm sure there's got to be something. All right. Let's see what else we got here. This, oh, player mats, is what I'm guessing these are. These are nice. Everything feels so well made. Even the, the board is thick. The pla These player mats are nice, nice stock. Oh, they fold. I wouldn't I wouldn't fold them myself. You'd probably get a crease down the center. Crack the crack the print. But nice. They looks like they have instructions for all your steps down here. Your player deck would go there. Discard pile, side quests. I kinda wanna play this right now. Alright. So we got one for every player. Excellent. Ooh. <laughs> Stuff. Alright, what do we got here? We got some dice. These dice are bigger than normal. Alright. Oh, these are nice. Nice gray dice. 
And I've got small hands, so these probably actually look bigger than they actually are, but they're pretty, they're good sized die. And they work. Excellent. All right, what else we got here? All right, we got a bunch of wood meeply type of tokens. Let's see what we got. Dump that out. All right, first we got our yellow woody things. And they are, these look like lanterns. I saw one meeple in there. There he is. Ah, oh, this guy's got a smushed face. You can see that? Oh, he's had, he's been in an accident. I don't know if you can, I don't know what camera you can see that better in that one or that one. See, he's got a flat side of his head. Poor guy. Anyways, I guess when you're traveling in a little bag with lanterns that are your size, something bad is bound to happen. Now the blue one we have, oh, these are different. So the blue one looks like potion bottles. I'll put those up there. All right, put those back in there. Is there a little meeple guy in here too? No, this is just, just potion bottles. Uh, tell us what we guys make in there. And here we have, this looks like, Bread. All right, so we got some loaves of bread. Not edible. Do, don't eat those. Um, they're brown, so I'm guessing a, a rye brown bread. Oh, I'm making a mess. Right. Let me just let me get that over here. And then here we have this looks like a, a splatter of some sort. It's red, I'm going with blood splatter. Blood splatter is my guess. Yeah, those look pretty neat. And yeah, cool. All right, so we'll put that back in the bag. There's a lot of that, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of blood, a lot of splatter. And here we have our gray thing. I'm, all right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to say Thunderstones. Maybe a shard of some sort? You know what? I'm going with Thunderstones. Maybe I'm wrong. But either way, there they are. Wrong or right. And then we have our last wooden thing, which is these black things. I can't, which in an in, in impenetrable bag. There. We got... Oh, more of the same, same as the gray things, except these are black. And I'm going with that these are thunderstones or some sort of shard. I don't know what these are used for, but I'm sure they'll help me along in my adventure. And then we have also don't eat these. And then we got, oh, we got all our characters. Can you see that? Let's pull these guys out. You know, I'll be um, I'll be posting pictures of all these on our Instagram account. So if you want a closer look at these guys, you can just visit it. <laughs> you can just vid visit us at Board Game Coffee on Instagram. And there's a lot of cool pictures there. And these will be counted among them in time. All right. Well, probably by the time you see this video, these pictures should be up. So. You get a nice little bonus. But we have, what do we got here? Let's go over them. We have a little spell caster. Is she wielding, I don't know if that's just generic spell or fire. She looks pretty neat. And then here we got, uh, look how it looks like a little thief. Yeah, thiefy. And then we got here, we got our hero, mid, uh, mid jump. Yeah. Looks like he's ready for some action. And then we got our, ah, we got our dwarf. These guys are always, they're always up for some, oh, that's not a dwarf, what is that? That's like a little, no, it is a dwarf. I thought it was a pig person, but it is a dwarf wearing a pig, or a boar, I guess is what it would be. All right. Uh, and then here we got our 
something little elfy fairy person with leaf wings and a stick of sorts a magical something anyways they're great detail on these little guys because they're really tiny and the detail is is really is pretty tight it's pretty nice and then we got these guys here and you know come to think of it in a, i've never had a deck builder i don't think where there's little little figures i'm not actually sure what these are for so i don't know if they're here they look more like more heroish than enemy is enemies so i'm gonna go with these are like the heroes we play with but again i don't know uh we'll be putting together an instructional video for this at some point down the road so i will know then promise all right and then here we have ah, these are the tiles that make up your map and there's a lot of them. And again, everything is super well made in this game. Like, it's the the card stock on that is thick. It's, it feel and it feels really nice. You definitely that explains the weight of the box. And you are actually you are definitely getting a quality product. Here, let me flip through some of these so you get an idea of what you're getting into. You know, if I do this fast enough, I think we can get through all of them. Yeah, we can do this. Let's see. We got here. Oh, it's upside down. So these are the detail on these are really nice. It looks like some of them have things like, see, buy one spell or weapon. So it says spoils. It's the bog. So I'm guessing some of these locations have a function of sort. There's different numbers on the back, so I would assume that has to do with building the level. Again, I don't know. Maybe it's a difficulty thing and you only play the ones with the level three in later levels. Just a guess. I'm sure it's, it's gotta be one of those. And then we got this guy, the wilderness. He seems, that blood splatter looks like the wooden blood splatter. So hey, that looks like a main core tile of some sort. Let's, Put that right right there and now we get to use the satin handles because the upper layer is empty let's see what's in, inside or underneath ready aha let's get that over there and actually much emptier than i would have guessed let's see what's here i'm guessing these are to store your cards possibly expansions but let's see what's under here I don't know if these are trays or just something to keep the cards in place. I'm gonna guess trays because they're they're labeled Thunderstone. You can see that here. So I'm guessing you don't go into detail like that just for something to hold your cards in place. But what do I know? Let's see. Well, there's a lot of cards. Again, explains the weight of the box. Everything here is well made. Even these. Even these uh, dividers are like a really thick cardboard stock. I'm impressed with the quality of all the paper, cardboard. I'm impressed with the quality of everything in this box so far. The miniatures are nicely detailed. The art on the box is really nice. I'm guessing the art on the cards is equally as nice. And right now, at the foundations of the world, I don't know what these are. Everything's sealed. I'm a I'm going to open one of these. I'm not going to open all of them because there's so many. But I'm not sure which ones are safe to open yet. So let me... Rise of the Mire. Are these... Again, I don't know much about the game, so I don't really want to spoil anything. But let's pull them out. So there's a lot of titles on these. And they're all numbered. So I'm assuming... If I find something that's got artwork on it, I will not open this. Ha ha! Found something with artwork on it. So let's open these and leave those ones sealed. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. So let's see what we got here. So we got our, we got some weapon cards here. And again, the artwork is fantastic. Well, some's more detailed than other. He looks pretty neat. Great. Okay, I don't know 
I don't know exactly what those are. But, you know, I'll put those in the bag later. Let's see what... I'm assuming more of the same in these, so I'm not going to open all of them. Let's just see. If this is more of the same, we'll just assume. Oh, the hell. I'll, I'll just flip. Ooh, look at him. All right. Okay, let's just open this one. That one looks like more of the same. So we're looking at more weapons. And this, this has got some cool art right off. The, is this, this looks more like characters in a package that I can't seem to open, even though I do see the seam, I can't seem to open it. I can't. This is, oh, ah, got it. All right. Let's see what we got here. And, and, da-da. Outlines, stalker, rapier, okay, so. I like these. Oh, he looks neat. Everything looks so intense like the on these cards. That's really nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing this. And then we got more. There is so many cards. I don't know if these other lanes of car storage, card storage, are for when you sleeve your cards or for expansions. We've got basic cards one. I say if we're gonna open any of these, we're gonna open up basic cards one. And we'll open those at the end. So if you're afraid of spoilers, turn your head away. What do we got here? Okay. Lot lots of these. So you've seen Assuming they're hiding, aha, no, we'll open these ones because they don't seem to be hiding what's in here, but they are hiding what's are in these. I'm assuming that's why they have the white title fronts. So let's open up one of these. All right, there's more of those, uh, the cards with the weapons on them, the bigger cards. And now let's open, who are we gonna open? Who are we gonna open? I'm gonna go with Black Rock Bandits, because they look cooler. Ooh, all right, let's see what we got here. Let's peel that puppy back. Mm -hmm. Just so much fun opening new things. And watching people open new things. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I'm failing a lot. So first, I'm using my teeth. The board game coffee first. It's a board game copy fail. I can't get this off. Ha, ha, ha. It's coming. Got it. These are well protected. Okay. <laughs> got it. Okay. What do we got here? All right. Let's hold these here for a bit so you can check them out. Belladonna. Belladonna? Belladonna? Dark Fire Touch. Okay, some artwork that we've seen on some of the bigger cards. Repeated here. I don't know what that means. You can see we have two cards that look very similar, except they have different costs. And, hey, there's those numbers that we saw on the back of the, um, the level tiles. The one and the two. Again, I'm not sure what that means. It's the same iconography, so it's got to be related somehow. Um, okay. So it looks like a lot of repeated images. I'm not going to open the sealed ones because I'm assuming they're all covered in these white face, these white titled faces for a reason. So I'll save that part of the uh, unboxing to you. And that's it. Now we're left with a beautiful box with well-made lanes to, for, to store your cards. And everything is, is, everything is super well made. As far as the quality of what I just, what I just opened, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I haven't played it myself, but I'm I do like a what AEG puts out, so I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. 
And again, I love deck building, and if it's a deck building dungeon crawling adventure, I'm sold. Anyways, that was our unboxing of Thunderstone Quest from AEG. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, subscribe here. We're putting out new videos every week and we'd love your support. But if you're ready to see another one of our videos right now, click here. I'm Mark Maya, this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. Thanks again.